So what's going on guys, DIY Dan here again, and in this video I'm going to be adding some extra bungee storage to one of my kayaks. This is actually my daughter's kayak. Now we do actually have nicer kayaks that have a little bit more storage already on them that we don't use. The reason that we got away from using those kayaks is my wife and I have kind of gone to using paddle boards. And my daughter still likes a kayak, but the other kayaks that we have are a lot heavier making them a lot more of a pain in the ass to carry up and down from the vehicle to where we like to paddle board and kayak. This Pelican kayak is very light and very easy to carry and deal with as far as that goes. The only thing it was lacking was some extra bungee storage to make it a little easier to carry a couple things. So that's what we're going to add in this video. The first storage that I'm going to add is just a single bungee to hold our safety rope. And I do highly recommend getting one of these if you're on any type of moving water, any type of a river. If you're going just to lakes that's not got flowing current, then it's no big deal. But anytime you have flowing water, even though if it doesn't seem that bad, it is a good idea to have one of these safety throw ropes. The other bungee storage that I'm going to be adding is up front because there's just nothing on the front of this Pelican kayak. And that's just for some storage of some extra gear. My daughter actually figured out on the trip we went out the next day after doing this that she can stick her hydro camel back there and the hose reaches her so she can get a drink whenever she wanted it, which worked out well. Now keep in mind, I'm using a bunch of supplies I just had around the house. The only thing I actually went and purchased for this project was some plastic wing nuts to fit some plastic bolts that I already had from a previous project. I did do a quick search on Amazon and they do actually sell bungee kits where you have everything you need and then you just basically have to do the install like I did in this one. So let's get to it. So trying to come up with a way to store this in a nice, easily grabbable spot. There's already a hole here, so I'm gonna make this stay right here. And drill this out a little bit more. For the safety throw bag bungee, I decided to use something I had laying around, which was these ball bungees. However, the bungee material was too thick to fit through my hole and I didn't want to go with any bigger of a hole than I had to because I didn't want to take on any extra water. So using a smaller piece of rope, I looped it around that bungee, ran it through the hole, and then pulled that bungee through the hole using the smaller rope. Once getting the bungee through there, then I needed some type of a hook in order to hook that bungee on the other side. I looked on Amazon and they do sell all kinds of kayak attachments and stuff like that. However, it just so happened that I was looking around in the stuff I had and I had some extra brackets from these metal shelf units you can put in closets and they have a good strong, basically a hook on them. So that's what I decided to use. All I had to do in order to make this work was cut off this extra material with my oscillating tool. Using a pair of pliers to hold that hook, then I went ahead and cut that and then I did have to drill the hole out just a little bit bigger to fit the plastic bolt that I was going to use to hold it to the kayak. Once I drilled it out, I held it, made sure I was lined up with the bungee, and then went ahead and drilled a hole through the kayak to anchor it in place. I had some plastic bolts laying around the house that were a size 1024. However, I did not have the nuts, so I went to Ace and ended up spending about 10 bucks on wing nuts that would fit those bolts. As soon as I finished doing that, I got back to the house, looked on Amazon and found out I can get an entire kit for the same price that I paid for six wing nuts. So I will be getting that kit for the next time I do something like this. I put the bolt through on the hook side so it sat as low as possible so it wouldn't interfere with the bungee going into that hook and then put the wing nut on the back and tightened it down. Here's a final look at how that came out. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm hoping it doesn't get in the way of paddling, and if it does, I can just remove it. For the storage up front, for the two front locations, I used plastic eyelets, then the 1024 bolts with wing nuts. So right here, I'm drilling the two holes for the front locations where the eyelets are gonna be. I put the eyelets at the front because that way the bungee will be held and cannot fall off, and it's easier to reach the two locations that are gonna be closer to the area where you're sitting. I also drilled those two locations as wide as possible so you could fit a decent sized bag under that bungee. Once getting those two locations held in place, I ran the bungee material through those eyelets, guesstimated what length I would need that bungee to be by Xing it out and holding it in place. All I did for the knot on this was tie an overhand knot over the one side of the bungee and then use the other bungee to tie another overhand knot pushing up against that one. 
Then use the two ends that were left over to tie one more overhand knot on top of both of those. Once I approximated where those two hooks at the back needed to be, I went ahead and drilled those out. I wanted the hooks to be as wide as possible and in an easy location to get to from being seated in the kayak. Then I grabbed two more of those hanger brackets and cut the tabs off and drilled them out a little bigger for the plastic bolts. Then anchored those in place, once again using those 1024 bolts and plastic wing nuts and tighten those down. I did have to do one final adjustment on the bungee to make it fit correctly using those hooks. We actually took this kayak out the day after I did this. The safety rope never got in the way of my daughter paddling. So that worked out well along with the storage for the Camelback. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and it gave you some good information. If so, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. The whole concept of my channel is to give you guys the most information in the least amount of time as possible so I don't waste your time. And I hope to see you next time. Have a good one. Later.